play it yourself. Let's go check it out. Come on. You can use your bottom section, and, and one group at a time, we'll start with you guys. Take your uh, two people, go over there, take your aqua terrarium column over there, hold it by the string, and I want you to put uh, two or three scoops of water in the aquarium. Okay? Need a lid off? Uh, slide it on up. Okay, just slide, slide, slide it up. Slide it up, let me put it in the Keep aquarium. Keep it over the bucket. Okay. Slide this up here like Oh, right there? All right, now you go the hey, No, don't put it through the terrarium, only the aquarium, like this. Lift this one up. Hold that one, babe. And then go ahead and put two scoops in there. Okay. Okay. Or you can even pull this part up there. That's easier, okay? Aqua, meaning water. Terra, meaning earth. Those are Latin Greek words for aqua, terra, column. Duh. All right, so you did a really good job on this. And this is actually a model, I like to say a model of a habitat. We have, just like the earth, we have water, we have land, and we have atmosphere. And so when we finish these, I really uh, want you not just to make them, that was the cool part, I want you to learn from them, we're gonna be studying them. So now it's time, all the things that you see here are non-living. The water, the rocks, the plastic, the string. Here, we have a mixture of living and non-living. What would be living in this part right here? The leaves. Even though they're dead leaves, they used to be living. On top of all those leaves are all kinds of little critters that are chewing away and eating at that. So you want to keep that top part moist a little bit. If you find any worms or isopodules, little roly polies, those would be perfect to put in there. But we're also going to add a few more things. These are called invertebrates. This is an animal that's an invertebrate. Everybody say invertebrate. Invertebrate. It does not have a backbone. If you stepped on me, you stepped on me, I'd go mush crunch. Everybody say mush crunch. Mush crunch. Because I'm a vertebrate animal. Well, what would be the crunch part on me? Your bones. So if you stepped on me, it'd go mush crunch. I'm a vertebrate. I have a backbone. This guy has an exoskeleton. or a, a, he, would, he wouldn't be mush crunch. What would he be? Crunch. Mush. He'd be crunch mush. His exoskeleton, or like an insect, I don't say, don't squeeze, I'm gonna kill them, but this is a mush crunch. Now there's also invertebrates that don't have any hard parts, like a sponge or a slug. What would they sound like? Mush. Mush, mush. So we have mush crunch, like me, crunch mush, like these guys, and mush, mush. So invertebrates. So what I like you to do, this is a, an aquatic snail. And so would you, uh, whose is this right here? Okay, get your fingers a little bit wet and carefully pick up a snail and put a snail in there. Hurry up. Go on. What? With your fingers, man. You can do that. your fingers right in there in the water. Look out. There you go. Watch out, man. I didn't get you. Now, don't do this. Slide it off because, and, and uh, we'll pass. Where's yours at? Drop it in the water. It's aquatic. Invasive species. An invasive species is a plant or an animal that's not from Indiana that's brought in here. Now it's fine if we use these in our aquariums, but never take an aquarium plant and put it in a lake, a river, or a stream, because it could take over and really hurt the environment. But it's fine to use these inside in an aquarium. Now, when they die or when you're finished with this, these plants should be either composted or put in the trash, not down the drain, not outside to release in the creek. A plant provides food, it provides cover, a place for an animal to live, and what's one other thing that a green plant will do? Photosynthesize. What does it do? Photosynthesize. 
it photosynthesizes sunlight and turns it into what? Energy. Energy for the plant. And what does it give off? One thing I need to do before we put any more animals in there, the water we drink has been treated to keep us safe. Have you ever been swimming in the summertime and your eyes burn in the pool? Yeah. 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 There's, a, there's a chemical we put in our water chlorine. to keep us safe. Chlorine or chloramines. And chlorine <coughs> dissolves mucous membrane. Now mucous membranes like your eyes or inside your nose, most animals have a membrane around their cells. And so small germs and, and different things, if chlorine touches them, it dissolves them and kills them. Now we don't want that to happen to our Fish. habitat, our snails. So I have a chemical here. I'm gonna leave in your class. This is a uh, this is a conditioner, and it neutralizes, which means it. What, what does neutralize mean? Destroys. Um, kind of destroys or makes it so it doesn't work. It makes the chlorine not work. Can you get a little bit closer there? And anytime we're gonna put new water in these, we want to put a little bit of this water conditioner in here, okay? And that will, it also uh, provides some slime for the animals and it also uh, takes away ammonia or nitrates, some, some of the things that, are, that build up. You don't want to overfeed these. That's rule number one, don't overfeed, ready? Rule number two, here it is, don't overfeed. Rule number three, what do you think it is? Don't overfeed. Don't overfeed, okay. It's time for us to, this, this plant is kind of special here. I want to talk about this plant. No, because we don't live in a sea or an ocean. These are fresh water. This is a invasive species, but it's it's called anacris, but it's allowed in aquariums. It's not allowed in our ponds or our lakes, but it's okay because what does a green plant produce when sunlight? Photosynthesis. And what's the byproducts of photosynthesis? Oxygen. Uh, who will use oxygen in our... Uh, who? Uh, fish. The fish. And so we're going to pinch these in half because uh, we don't need pinch these in half and put one in each aquarium. Put, uh, put the stem down. Now, so a green, you might want to break that one. I don't know. Who else needs one? Here we go. Here we go. You can't kill a snail unless you, unless you crunch it, man. Everybody have one in there? Yeah, drop it in there. Okay. So that's. That's an invasive species. What does an invasive species do? Something that can take over. Yeah, so we don't want these. When, when we're, we're done with these, these should be disposed of properly, which is, what's two ways to dispose of these? Trash. Trash, Trash or, or decompose it. Decompose it. I got one more thing. I brought uh, another kind of plant. This is called Java moss. And so you have three different types of plants in I love this stuff because it's just, just as beautiful. And so I'm going to uh, split this up. It looks like grass. It does look like grass, but it's living. It's a green plant, so it's going to really help your aquarium. Trim. Here comes Maybe. our fish. Put your hand out. <laughs> now, these are also invasive species, but they will not hurt the environment. Don't let them go. But bass and other fish would eat these. Go ahead and put them in. Awesome.